We live in the heat. We train in the heat. It tells us that we're ready. We're at home. We're where we're supposed to be. Flames don't intimidate us. What do we do? We control the flames. We control them. We move the flames where we want to. And then we extinguish them. Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, it's your guy Big Will, and I'm back with this boxing talk. What's good with your fam fam? Hey listen man, first of all, look, I got a little cold, so the voice is a little hoarse, but I need y'all to bear with me. You know, I got my tea with my lemon in it, you know. But I want to talk a little bit about Mikey Garcia. We know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Mikey Garcia got the upcoming bout March 16th against Earl Spence, man. Mikey will be going up in weight. Um, he will be challenging Earl Spence for his IBF welterweight title. Now, I was reading the article on Boxer Scene. I'll put the link in the description where, um, you know, some champions, couple champions, and uh, also Victor Conte has some choice words about uh, Mikey Garcia going up in weight. Um, first of all, let me read to you what um, Polly Malignaggi had to say, man. Um, in my opinion, man, I think Polly Malignaggi, <clears throat> you know, as a commentator, man, I think he should stay more as, um, you know, Given less of his opinion, you know what I'm saying, about the fighter, you know what I'm saying, being that he's calling the fights. Because it could come off as him, see, as, as, as him seeming biased, you know what I'm saying. So I think Polly needs to work on that a little bit more. But Polly says, and I quote, you know, I think both of these guys are phenomenal fighters in and around their respective weights. But I just believe that weight classes matter. He says Mikey became a champion for lower divisions and he did very well as a super lightweight. But I just think at this point he's going way too far when you're dealing with someone that is much bigger than him and as much skills that Earl Spence has. Malinaji goes on to say, I know Mikey believes he can be a better puncher by rising in weight. But Earl Spence is a phenomenal puncher at welterweight. I do believe that there are welterweights that Mikey can beat, but I just don't think Earl Spence is one of them. I think it's going to be really nice tactical fight to watch for a while, but I think Spence is going to be too big and he gets Mikey in about six or seven rounds. Ah, six or seven rounds. That's all he's giving Mikey. You know, <clears throat> a lot of people don't be, a lot of people not seeming to give Mikey a chance, man. Um, me, myself, I think it's going to be a very competitive fight. I think Mikey Garcia is going to surprise, <clears throat> surprise a lot of people, man. And um, I think win or lose, Mikey is going to prove to a lot of people that he is one of the best fighters in the world. But um, Keith Thurman, he also spoke upon um, the fight between Mikey Garcia and Earl Spence. Let me read to you what he says. Ah, and I quote, Earl Spence is a lot bigger than Mikey Garcia. And as a smaller guy who has never fought a world-class welterweight, the size of Spence, I don't know where it's Mikey confidence come from. Um, but Mikey wants to prove to the world that he sees something which allows him to coordinate his hands, feet, to outperform a world-class welterweight named Earl Spence. I like Mikey's boxing, but there's a part of me that sees him getting stopped, and there's also a part of me that sees him going 12 rounds, but there's not a part of me that sees him dominating, <clears throat> dominating Earl Spence. Now, those were Keith Thurman's um, words. Keith Thurman was once... Mikey Garcia's target. Uh, Mikey Garcia been planning this uh, move to welterweight for a minute, and before Keith Thurman got hurt, um, he was he was throwing a, throwing around Keith Thurman's name. You know what I'm saying? But um, Sugar Ray Leonard, he also had something to say about this. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard knows a little something about this. He went from welterweight back in 1987. Um, 
to come up to, to, to middleweight to face Marvin Hagler in a fight. No one gave him a chance. Sort of like what Mikey's doing. No one gave him a chance, man. And he ended up still in the victory. But um, this is what Sugar Ray had to say. <clears throat> Being a smaller man, Mikey's got to pick his shots based on footwork. Moving in and out and finding out what works best against Spencer's strong and weak points toward breaking him down. Garcia will feel the size difference. Spencer's punches will be harder for Garcia than I believe he will have faced in his career. The biggest thing for Garcia will be poise and composure, which is everything for guys moving up and taking risks against bigger guys. Garcia just has to be selective with shots and make Spence feel uncomfortable with his timing. On the other hand, Spence has got to go in there believing he's facing the baddest son of a bitch in the world. I can understand what um, Ray Leonard's saying here, man. Um, Spence cannot go in here underestimating Mikey, man. Because if he goes in here underestimating him, it could be, you know, it could be lights out. But me knowing how Spence comes out, knowing how he trains, I think he'll be fully prepared um, for this matchup. And the last person who uh, gave their critique on the fight is uh, Victor Conte. Now, Victor Conte runs the snack facilities where Mikey is training, where Mikey is trying to uh, build up his size. Uh, again, I apologize for my voice, man. Um, but Victor Conte, this is what he says, and I quote, I hear people saying that they're going to put on 12 pounds of muscle on Mikey, and he's going to be slow. But we do heavy-duty bungee and over and under hurdle drills, among other things, said Conti of Garcia. We have masks, we have chambers where he's breathing low oxygen, equivalent to 10,000-foot elevation. This is higher than Big Bear at 6,700 feet and Mexico City at 8,300 feet. This is about increasing Mikey's explosive power, speed, and endurance. We're on a mission to help Mikey beat the so-called boogeyman of boxing, Earl Spence. So, these are just a few of boxing's um, insiders and their opinions on the tough task ahead of Mikey Garcia. Will Mikey Garcia... Um, do the unthinkable, the unbeatable, and go in there and outbox Earl Spence. Maybe um, he'll surprise everyone and stop Earl Spence. You know, nobody really knows. This is boxing. Stranger things have happened, you know. Um, but not a lot of people are giving Mikey the credit that I think he deserves for this fight. Mikey Garcia is daring to be great. He's a hell of a champion. And I think that he'll make this fight way more competitive than people think. That's all I got for now. It's your guy, Big Will. Thanks for tuning in to Big Faces Worldwide. Until next time, peace. I'll holler back.